Greetings from Pradina team. I am wishing everyone a very good day. This is Pradina basic video tutorial. Our application Pradina is a complete school management software. The unique feature of our application is the four different types of user login that is a admin login, employee login, students login and parents login in a single platform. The screen available now is a login page of Pradina. The admin can log in using the username admin and the default password admin123. Once you log in with the default credentials, you can see the Fidina dashboard. Fidina is mainly divided into two parts that is a core module sections and add-on module sections. The core modules covers the essential parts of school management like student details, employee details, examinations, attendance, timetables, finance, etc. The first module we have to look into is the settings module. You can see various options available in the setting modules. To configure the general details of the institutions, Click the general settings options. You can provide the school details here. You can set the currency, time zone, themes, grading systems and also upload the school logo from the same options. Next option is the manage goals and manage batch. Manage course is used to create or add new courses. You can add as many courses with the options new. You have to provide the course name, code, initial batch name and save. The saved courses is available on the option Manage Courses. You can see the list of courses created in the institutions. The next option is the Manage Students category. You can set different students categories available in the institution. You can admit students to different students categories and also create particulars for particular categories of students. The next option is manage subjects. We can set two types of subjects. That is a normal subject and an elective subject. Normal subjects which all students in a batch need to study, whereas the second one that is the elective subjects, the, sub the students can choose or elect subjects under elective group. The admin can assign the interested students to a particular elective subject using the option assign students. The next is add admission details. If the admin want additional details like passport number from the students, he can create fields here. It will be asked in the student's admission page. Next is the SMS module. Using SMS module, the admin can send SMS to the users in the applications. For example, when an event or an examination results are announced, the users will get a notification about the same through SMS to their cell phones. The different options available in the SMS modules are send SMS to students, send SMS to batches, or send SMS to all. The admin can select the different options available for the SMS using the option SMS settings. The next module we have to move is the admission modules. The screen available now shows the admission page of a student. The admin need to provide the admission number which should be unique for every student. 
The admission number is used as the username of the students. That is, as we are going to admit a student with the admission number STD108, the username of the student will be STD08 and the password will be STD08123 defaultly. The first page in the admission sections, we have to provide the student's details like the first name, the course and batch he need to be admitted, we can also select the categories. We can provide the contact details or the address of the students. We can give provide the mobile number, email ID. We can also upload the user photo and save. The second page, we have to fill the parents' details. and go for finish. We can add any other guardian details using the option add another guardian. We can also enter the previous educational details from the third page of admission sections. The Additional details fields which was created in the settings modules will be asked in the fourth step of the admission process. This is the profile of the students. Once the admission is completed, we can get the profile of the students. There are different options available in the students profiles such as reports from where we can get the academic reports and the attendance reports of the students the guardian options from where we can get the guardian details of the students, send email where the admin can send emails to the students or parents or the his tutors, the other options which has fees if the admin want to check the fees that is assigned for the particular student he can check the fees, the hostel facility is assigned and also the transport facilities assigned from the very same students profile. The next module is the student details. This module helps us to search any student's profiles. The search option here helps us to search the student's details. We have to provide either the student's admission number or the student's first name. That is, if we provide the student's admission number, we can get the details. And if we click on the first name, we can migrate to the student's profiles. There is other options in the student's details is the advanced search where we can search the students with advanced options. The view all options help us to search the students using the batch details. The next module is the human resource module. The human resource module is exclusive for the staffs or the employees. The various options available in the HR or the human resource management are as seen in the screen. So the first option is the settings. The settings option help us to set different fields related to the employees. 
The first one, that is the employee categories. We can set the different employee categories available in the institution. Mainly there are two types, that is the teaching categories and non-teaching categories. We can also add other different categories available in the institutions. The second one is the add employee positions. We can add as many as employee positions using this present option. We have to provide the name and select the employee category to which that position belongs. You can see a list of positions created using the different ca employee categories. The next one is the employee department. Add employee department help us to add the different de employee departments available in the institutions. The departments can be either computer, hardware, or else English, primary departments, etc. So we can add as many as the employee departments available in the institutions. The next one is the employee grade. The employee grade option helps us to set the hierarchies or the levels of teachers or grades of teachers available in the institutions. You can see a list of grades of teachers or grade fields in the screen. We have to provide the name and the priority the maximum period per day and maximum period per week that is that can be assigned for a particular grade. The maximum period per day and maximum period per week is will be used in the timetable sections while for timetable assignings. The next one is the payroll categories. We can add or edit the employee pay categories here. Mainly there are two types, there is earning categories and a deduction categories. Earning categories is added to the employee salary or, or the payroll, whereas the deduction categories where which fields is used to deduct the amount from the salaries. Next one is the bank details. If the admin want to fetch the bank details of the employees, he can create bank fields here. The bank will be asked in the employer admission page. And the last option that is add additional details. Like students, the admin can also add additional fields required for the employees like the license number, passport number or any other fields that admin want to fetch from the employees. After the basic HR settings, the next option we have to move is the employee management. The employee management mainly consists of two options. That is employee admissions and employee subject associations. The employee admission option is for admitting the employees to the institution whereas employee subject association is assigning different subjects for different batches to a particular employee. First we will move on to the employee admissions. The employee admissions there are different sections of employee admissions. The first section is entering the basic details for the employees like the employee number, the first name etc. The employee number change to be the username of the employees. That is, if an employee is admitted with employee number E5, then the username of the employee to log into his account will be E5 and the default password will be E5123. The second page is the contact details for the employees.
office address, a contact details can be filled here. The bank fields which was created in the HR settings will be asked here. We can provide the details. And save. The next is additional details. The next is setting the privileges for an employee. We can set different privileges for different employees. The privileges pages is divided into five sections that is administration operations, student management operations, system settings, academics and other activities. The admin can assign any privileges to any employees using the same options. Next is setting the reporting manager for an employee. The employer requires a reporting manager. The, for example, to apply for a leave, the employee can apply a leave which will be forwarded to the reporting manager. Once the reporting manager approves his leave, he can, his leave will be approved. To assign a reporting manager for search by name, you can get the list of employee and just click on the name and the selected manager will be appeared. After that go for save and proceed. The next page is the basic payroll page. We can set the different payrolls or different salary details using the same options. After the whole admission procedures we can see the employees profiles. The different options available in the employee profiles are the profile details, the salary details, the leave details and other options like library and transport that can be assigned to an employee. The next option in the HR settings in the employee management is the employee subject association. This option helps us to assign a particular subject of a batch to a particular employee. If I want to assign a particular subject Select the course first and select the subject and then select department. We can assign any employee to the subject using these options. The next one is the employee leave management. We can man manage the employee attendance and the employee's leave using these options. The add leave types allows the admin to add different leave types available, available in the institution. For an example, now any employee can apply for the casual leave from his account. If I want to get the attendance register of a particular department of M teachers, I can click on the attendance register. We have to select the department and I can get the attendance register for the employees. If I want to mark any absence of an employee, click on the date and I can get a pop-up window where the admin can mark the absence for a particular employee. The other options in the leave management is the attendance report. The attendance report helps us to fetch the attendance report for a particular employees or a particular departments of teachers. For an example, if I want to get the attendance reports of the de primary department, we have to select the department and I can get the list of employees and get the total amount of leave the employees had taken. The next option that is a reset leave is to provide the admin an option to reset the leaves for the different employees in the institutions. The admin can either reserve the lease for individual employee or reserve the lease for according to the department. If you will move on, the next one is the create pay slips. The create pay slips option help, helps the admin to create the pay slips for the employees. The create pay slips are 
divided into two sections that is the creation of the payslips by the HR and the approvals of the payslips in the finance section. The first part that is the creation of the payslips is done by the HR from the HR modules. To create a payslips for a particular employee, go for the select employee options. Select the department and select the employer name. To add the salary details, we can edit We can also add new categories and go for the option create. We can see then the particular payslip will be generated for the particular employee. The other options in the payslips department is one click payslips generator. The admin can generate the payslips for all the employees in the institution with one click using the same option one click payslip generator. If the admin want to reward the action of one click passive generator, he can use the option one click passive rewards. If any employee's spaces were rejected from the finance sections, those passives will be available for the admin from the option rejected employees. The next option available in the HR management is the employee search. If the admin want to search any employee details, he can provide the employee's first name or the employee's admission number. And the employee can click on the name and migrate to the employee's profiles. He can also use the advanced search for the advanced options. The next one is the employee passives. This option is used to view the department-wise payslips. If an employee, if an admin wants to check the payslips generated for a particular month, he can select the department and select the month and go for the option view. He can then check the payslips generated for the different employees under the different departments.